<laughs> oh, what in the world? Well, it's finally time for us to dive back into the world of Tormented Souls with absolutely no restrictions, baby. They're finally done. Last video I did a couple of days back, I told you guys I could show you up to a certain point. The game comes down to 27th, so whenever this video comes out live, should be fine. We're actually going to be exploring a ton of new areas here today. So if you've been curious about what lies beyond the demo that you might have covered a couple of months back, well, we're going to get into it here today. One thing for sure, though, is that, um... I know we need another piece of this heart, because if you didn't catch the last video, mind you, I'll have a link for you in the upper right corner. Check it out and come on back. But we need to find the other piece of that heart because I believe I know the solution to this puzzle. By the way, remember this creepy ass doll? It used to be over here, and now it's uh, apparently over here. <laughs> I'm just saying, never trust the dolls. So let's pop into here, which is going to be a dentist room. I hear noises. Oh, yeah. My dude, please. You're probably still alive. You like to- yeah, you're still alive. What I like about this is that... If you aim again, and you obviously point at the body, it means it's still alive, so it gives you an idea if it's still alive. I think one of the Silent Hills, or at least maybe a couple of the old school Silent Hills did that as well. So, it, you know, it's not gonna fake you out. Although, admittedly, Maybe it's nice to just put them down and not uh, conserve the extra bit of bullets or <laughs> nails. Not really technically bullets, but you know, they're ammunition, right? X-ray images. What do we got here? Mm, all right. Okay, perfect. So now, now, let's combine them. And we know exactly where that's going to go based on the last video. I mean, how are we doing with nails, by the way? 23 and 8? I'm not sure how, you know, how good the game is about giving you ammo. I've tried to avoid fights, have I? Or maybe I haven't, I'm not really sure. But again, it's survival horror, so we gotta conserve whenever we can. 17 September 1941. As I crept quietly behind my father, the clock struck 1.30. I saw him enter the mausoleum after placing three elements of some kind of board. He went through quietly. I followed him at a distance, trying not to make a sound, for I did not want to be caught. At mother's toe, my father sank to his knees and rested his hands on the cold, sculpted marble figure of his wife. He began praying. I felt guilty, guilty following him. Seeing the cold and calculating man this way moved me. I was about to leave when Father stood up and approached the angel statue. Mother's marble tome moved slowly to the side and exposed a narrow staircase leading into darkness. He climbed down the stairs. I hesitated for a moment, my legs not wanting to take another step, but was able to stand and follow him down. Once inside, I heard metallic sounds and the echo of running water. A few moments later, I bumped into a ladder. I climbed down and found myself in a long stone tunnel covered in pipes and sewage. I saw Father's silhouette turning a corner and hurriedly follow. Um, this almost feels familiar to, um, where we went to the other world. Before me appeared a huge metallic door and a group of men wearing strange suits like those worn to protect from radioactivity. Each carried a giant hammer. My father joined the group and they received him by hitting their hammers together. A hospital bed on each side of the group carried what appeared to be bodies covered in sheets. My father put on one of the disturbing suits. In my frightened stupor, I loosened a brick from the wall and smashed against the floor with the sound of a thousand buildings crashing down. I could feel their eyes turn on me as I fled the way I had come, their guttural voices screaming to catch me while they hit their hammers on the ground. These could be the, the lined up suits that we saw in the room with the father or the priest. And the tunnel thing that I mentioned, at least to me, it felt very familiar to here in the little room. Except not our world little room. Because this actually looks, you know, a little bit creepy, sure, but fine. I, I like the contrast over here, though, the other world mechanics. So obviously we have like what seems to be like mannequins apparently covered in uh, sheets. But we've been going to the other world, which again, classic Simon Hill mechanic. Those turn into like weird torture chamber Iron Maiden. So, you know what? Maybe no, no, no. You know what? They said long tunnel with pipes, right? Kind of a long tunnel with pipes. Maybe tunnels a stretch, but there are pipes in the side, right? And then the big metallic door has got to be this right here, which I can't do much with just yet. Um, and then we gotta put you here. Okay. 
So very much like classic Silent Hill. More than likely, whatever we do in this world will also affect the real world. So we put this heart in here. Oh, check it out. The heart is now, or the chest is now sealed up. How about that? And now, I guess, since we turned it on last time, now... There it is. Boom. Metal T-handle, it's missing a socket. But we got a socket. There it is. And that's gonna probably lead us to that one door that was locked, where we just came from. Okay. So right now, we're about to hit up completely... By the way, I gotta say, like, this game is, like, well done. At least the, the, the atmosphere, the level design. At least so far what I've seen, like, man. Surprisingly good. This feels like one of those games that they took their time with. They didn't just rush it out. Everything about this I'm vibing with so well. Okay. Main hall. Oh, this is the entrance? Yo. Yo. All right. Sorry, I'm getting a bit nostalgic for the classics right now. Okay. Piano. An old piano, sadly, I don't know how to play. That makes two of us. Yeah, it's probably the exit right there, but obviously, you know. <laughs> we ain't getting out of here anytime soon, huh? Anything in these bags? Nope. All right. So we gotta do the usual, you know, roam around stuff, make sure you don't run into, like, an item or something, because... This game does follow the classic trope, not the modern games where basically everything that you see has a highlight on them, so you know exactly where the items are. Here you gotta put a little bit of thought into searching for items. So we got a couple of options here. We have door, stairs down, stairs up, and we have... Chapel. Okay, we got boys here. We got what's at least by the sound, it sounds like the half body dudes that drag themselves around. Uh, let's go check down first, and then I guess maybe we take a little peek upstairs. <laughs> right, right, I forgot about the mechanic. See, I feel safer with the nail gun in my hand just in case something creeps up on me. We gotta pop it, right? But um, darkness uh, makes this go insane. I think. I mean, it doesn't look good, whatever it's happening here. That's shut tight. This leads probably back up to the main hall. Yes. Oh god, I hate this so much. These are one of the things that I do hate about games that really breaks my immersion. Like, you, you're telling me you can't get up there because there's two caution wet floor, floor, floor signs, you know? It's like that part in Dark Souls 2 where essentially you gotta go through this whole turnabout thing because your, your character can climb over a small little, you know, couple of bricks that fell over. What do we got here? Mm -mm. So we need something for you. Question is what? Nymph untying her sandals sculpted by John Gibson. Meeting room. How are we doing here? I mean, there's light at least, so we don't have to worry about the flashlight. Just making sure like there's no dude wandering about here. A vial of morphing. I will definitely take that. We might have some story right now. Assuming this projector still works. Another door there. Now, do we technically have a map of this area? Because it seems to be going back into the waiting room. Just um, upstairs, obviously. A calendar. 15 is the last day marked off. Mm, we're missing a tape here. Unless... <laughs> Via chest tape. Oh boy. That brings us back. I, uh. I really <laughs> don't like the sound of that. And it's so freaking dark. There's a map. I'm in the map, so everything's frozen around me. Okay, nothing move. Uh, let's see. We went to the meeting room. We popped out in the state corridor. We have a sewing room. We have a bedroom. We have offices. We have libraries. Okay. 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 Ooh. 
Oh, what in the world? What is this? This dude is... This dude is... His skin is grafted on... Oh, his skin is grafted onto... I can't... I don't think we can get by this guy. I don't know what type of game you're playing, game. Like, is this one of those, like, instant death situations? Are you just gonna hurt me? Do I run on by? This armor almost seems to be alive. Don't say that to me. Can you just, you know, acknowledge the fact that it's shaking? Are they moving, moving, or is it the light that's tripping me out? No, they are moving. This right here is, um, what game did this? Resident Evil 4, right? Where you run by and, like... The armors just start dropping the, uh, swords on you. Oh, thank god. Oh, there's another one here. It kept on getting louder and I was just like, but the dude is far away from us. Do I still need the disc? Yeah. Oh. Well, at least for now, it seems like we've done whatever we can here. For now, at least some light, so I'm happy about that. But, um... I mean, we gotta figure out a way to get bad past those guys. Do you think I just splat them? I could just shoot them, I suppose, but... Yeah, that's where we came from. I could just shoot them, I suppose, but, um... Rarely do survival horrors force you to do that in those situations. We've exhausted at least uh, the parts that go through here, so we gotta go through this nightmare, which we heard dudes uh, scraping about. Luckily, there's light. Um, I don't know where these guys are, so put this on, please. He's coming at me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, come on. Get out of here. I guess I should have jumped back, but I thought, like, with the fifth one, he'd go back. Apparently not. He's still alive. We're in caution. I'm unhappy about that one. Could have been avoided. Could have been avoided. I hear another one still roaming about, though. You are Chapel. I'm literally a chapel. Okay, nice, the map for this area. So here we have a kitchen, we have a broom closet, we have a store in the archive. Judging by that, seems to be locked. I didn't try to open it, did I? No. But it's gonna be locked to say like a painting next to it. Yeah, none of those, one of those weird puzzles. All right. Let's see. The other guy is, um, patrolling that little area right there. Okay. Is he coming at me? Uh, what? I don't know. They're kind of switching it up on me. Because five used to put him down before. Now, after the fifth one, they're still getting an attack in there before they decide to, you know, go back for their little, um... I'm dead, but not really routine. I smashed it. a smashed statue of Jesus. It looks like it fell from the cross. That it did. I was hoping to avoid combat with this guy altogether, although I felt like we had to probably deal with him because he was guarding the hall that we kind of have to go to. Some morphing over here, though. But I was hoping that maybe if I could just lure him out here, run around and get through him that way, but... He decided to jump the gun. Should probably reload this, huh? Okay. So we got a couple of um, rooms up there, wouldn't likely, but let's proceed down through here first. Alright. I mean, this, this place has to have some dudes, right? Let me guess, like a butcher. Monster Butcher. Bridge, what do you got for me? Hm, empty freezer. It's freezing cold, so we'll probably have to put there something to maybe freeze it. That's what I'm thinking. You won't leave this place. 
Once again, December up to 15. 16 onward is not marked. What the hell's that sound? <gasps> Who is that? Oh no, you're the guy with the wheelchair. Oh. <laughs> I guess we gotta put him down? Look at this dude. <laughs> He's just camping at this point. Yep, 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 yep. We gotta put him down. Seven shots? Eight shots? Eight shots. Eight shots with this guy. That's a lot of that's a lot of ammunition spent right there, man. But maybe he was camping me pretty good. Yeah, it seems like a computer room we have to put some codes in and stuff, yeah. It's probably best we took care of him. I do I normally don't mind dodging enemies and like getting around them. Like in the room scene I can spend too much time in. But this feels like we have to search and put in some probably codes in here, so. It's best to have a little bit of peace of quiet. Insert this to write a new keyword. Hmm. More than likely, then we gotta. We already know we that one place in the disc, right? So we gotta find a disc, put it in here, probably write a keyword on it, and then use it for that one door. Is what I'm assuming the flow for that puzzle is gonna be like. A medical report of a hospital patient. Dr. Rick Pelletier. Of her two twin babies, Miriam Morris said. In the process of delivery, gives birth to her first baby, Noah. But unfortunately, the other twin, Met Met Metushuel, passed away as soon as the umbilical cord was cut. At the moment, the cause of his untimely death are unknown. We hope the autopsy will give us some answers. A bottle of nitric acid, nitric acid that can corrode metal over time. Hmm. Okay. Well. Probably have to open up something like that. That seems like a very dark place, but we got our lighter out already, so that's fine. Uh... It sounded like something was chowing down right now, man. An iron door knocker shaped like a hand holding a ball. Iron door knocker. Hmm. Alright. So, more than likely, we'll find the door that requires that to be put in there. You knock on it, and the door just magically opens for you. Small room. More nails. Thank you. Battery charger. Uh, let me guess. Uh, we need a battery? Maybe? A battery can fit here. Oh, imagine that. So at this point, we are left with no choice but to go here, correct? What is this supposed to be? A studio. I think this is a safe room music. I'm not familiar with the game enough to even go in by that, but this song is, it's, I think it's the one that we came from the save room. What, what, what? Yes! It is the save room, perfect. Okay. Let's, uh, first and foremost look around here. Oh. Alright. We have our ink ribbon there, or... Tape to record at least. Shotgun shells. Can be used with a shotgun, imagine that. That's what you use the shotgun shells with a shotgun. Well, you know, it would be nice if we actually got a shotgun, so I could use something other than a nail gun for his weapon. You shouldn't have come here. Who, um... What, what survival horror game has a villain that says, You shouldn't have come here. I don't know. I know there's one... I'm just blanking out on what. That, that sounds so familiar, though. You shouldn't have come here. An x-ray image showing a heart. The figure seems familiar. Well, the, the help one is back there as well. Oh! The, the... The statue that we saw up above. Okay, so we're roughly at around the time that I actually wrap up these videos. So this actually... It's almost like the game you like, you know, this is around the time you stop recording, huh, Falcon? We'll put a save room right there just for you, buddy. But just out of curiosity's sake, let's at least peek through here. Service area. Just to see what awaits us. 
Um, if you guys are enjoying this, do let me know. Ooh, no. Yeah, you gave me the perfect safe spot. This is a dark ass room. I'm not. You know who that is? And that's Grandpa in the wheelchair. If you guys are enjoying this, do let me know, and I can definitely come back and do some more. We got Maria Wildeberg's diary. I was sitting on a hill under a big leafy tree. How long was I there? I could smell the grass and hear the sound of leaves dancing in the wind just over my head. Small, shapeless figures were moving side to side over my white dress. I could hear a weak voice traveling with the wind. I did not understand what it was saying. I did not pay much attention to it. A snake crawled up to me, hidden in the grass. It gave me no time to stand up, wrapping around my feet and climbing up my leg. I tried to scream, but the snake had already sunk in its fangs into my flesh. I felt the poison burning its way through me. I winced in pain and let the snake fall away, lost in the grass. The pain got stronger and stronger, and the voices that were only whispers in the wind became clearer. Their sound turned into syllables, the syllables into words. The pain worsened in the sun, which was bright and warm before, became cold, surrounded by a stainless, stainless metal halo. The words turned into people, turned into people who surrounded me. One was holding my hand. Push, Maria. Push. Oh, we can't check the picture, unfortunately. That's a shame. But once again, twins. Got a doll here and apparently a father just off the frame of the picture itself. I do like that we could turn this stuff on so it's not so dark. Which I guess makes sense because if you gotta fight grandpa. If you gotta fight grandpa, um, you need to take your weapon out. I'm gonna <laughs> come in here though because, you know, we're out of time. You know, as I said, we're out of time. I just wanted to take a little quick peek. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, let me know and I'll definitely come back and, you know, play some more of this. Maybe there's enough interest to do an entire series. We'll see. Otherwise, all the information down below. This comes down to 27, so by the time you see this video, it should be available. I guess you want to pick it up for yourselves. Really, really awesome. Absolute love letter to classic survival horror, though. I'll catch you guys next time.